What is up guys, Julius here, and today I'll bring you a short tutorial on how you can place text behind a person in Adobe After Effects. So I am here in my After Effects where I prepared a composition with a girl where I will place some text behind her. So in front of the foreground behind the person, right? And I mean, this is a super good clip to do this effect on because the background is very different from the object that we will be doing this on. But anyways, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my composition to go into layer mode. And then I will select this tool here, rotor brush tool. And I will just draw around the subject at the start of our composition. This will create a smart mask, which will basically follow our subject. So as you can see, we have this mask here. And if I press space, it will automatically track our subject, as you can see. And it does it pretty well. But uh, be right back. Let me just let this finish running. So the rotor brush is done. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job, maybe except like right here. But that doesn't matter. I can't be us doing it perfectly. But if you wanted to, you could go in frame by frame and fixing it up. But for the purpose of this video, this is well enough. But as you can see, it does a few mistakes here. It's missing some and here is also like doing a few mistakes, but that's fine. So I'm going to go back into my composition and as you can see, it's cut out. And yeah, this is good enough, right? So I'm going to duplicate this layer in our bottom layer. I'm going to delete the rotor brush like so. And now I'm going to select our type tool. You can also press Ctrl T and I'm going to type something. This is just right behind. That's beautiful. And I'm going to drag this one. I'm going to leave it for here now because I want to format it a little bit. I am going to change the font to Eras Bold. I like that one. I'm going to change the pixel size. Let's crank it way up so we can see what's going on. Let's do 400. Let's make sure that it is a proper white color. And let's go into window and then align over here and let's just align it to the composition and let's maybe drag it up a little bit and just align it horizontally okay this is fine this is good and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drag this one in between our two clips and just like that the text is behind take a look but anyways that was all i had for this short tutorial sometimes you got to keep it short because there's not that much to teach about it you can also, if you wanted to, motion track the text if you have a moving clip, but that's for another tutorial. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, then please like, comment, and subscribe. It really motivates me a lot. But anyways, see you Monday. Bye-bye.